Everyone does 100 day challenges nowadays, so I'm trying something different. It's so unique that nobody has ever done it before. I'm doing the world's first 69 day LEGO Fortnite survival world. Subscribe if you enjoy, and let's get into the video. Day one, I spawned into my world for the very first time and was immediately hit by the beauty of the landscape and a massive lag spike. I spent my first day doing the tutorial tasks, such as gathering materials, building a campfire, petting a cow, which gave me prepackaged milk. I have no idea how the cow would accomplish that. And then finally, I ended off the night by building a shack, workbench, and bed. Day two, I built some tools, pet a chicken, and then got lured off into the hills by this strange bug that said he would give me candy. Unfortunately, he only had vegetables, so I went and took my frustration out on some rocks, and then built another shack. Then I spent forever talking to this NPC before going out to collect materials. Eventually, some bum decided to show up and live here rent-free. She even had the nerve to ask me to fix the place up. I tried to go to bed in the hopes that she'd give up, but for some reason the beds were useless, so I just took my anger out on some skeletons. Day 3. First I killed a couple wolves, and then I discovered this group of guys who didn't look too friendly. After killing them, I went home and upgraded my base to level 2. Then, Cuddle Team Leader said something that caught my eye. The video would be lame without Meowsel, so I had another goal to accomplish, along with lasting 69 days. After getting some wool from this new species of self-shearing sheep, I went and got enough materials to craft myself a sword. I placed some decor in my shack, and then finished off the day by upgrading my base to level 3, and then I made the mistake of inviting this girl to my village who never actually does her job. Day 4. I got pretty excited when the bug from last time told me he knew where a llama was, but of course the llama was just filled with vegetables. After finding Mancake, who wasn't too happy to see me, I finished building a shed and then discovered a new way of harvesting materials. I spent day 5 gathering more materials, but on day 6 I found cake. Unfortunately, I needed higher level gear to be able to farm there, so I went back home. Of course, there was another person trying to weasel their way into my village, so I went and started building a wall in the hopes of keeping them out. Day 7. It was still raining a lot, so I decided to start a little farm, and then I went AFK to eat lunch IRL. Day 8. I found this crab guy, which was pretty lucky since I needed three of his shells to upgrade my crafting bench. Then I started building an outdoor kitchen and growed up some meat, and finally ended off the day by accidentally getting into a fight with a brute and dying. Day 9. I went back to the cave after getting better tools and started fighting all the mobs in there. My helper decided to be as unhelpful as possible, and instead of fighting with me, she decided that she wanted to try flying. Then I farmed up some uncommon wood and went home to upgrade my village to level 4. Day 10. I went back to the cave since I had an upgraded pickaxe and farmed for a while. Then I built a watchtower and upgraded my village to level 5. Days 11 through 14 were boring because I spent the entire time farming wood and stone, but on day 15 I accidentally threw a torch into the water and it started glitching out. Days 16 through 20 I spent exploring, and I found a brute attacking some of Mancake's henchmen. One of them dropped a blue item, so I went for it, but then I got ambushed and died. On day 21 I went and checked on my garden, which I had left Bee Boss to manage, and it was actually growing really well. Although he said that he only had one corn to give me, so now that I think about it, he may have been embezzling crops from me. Then I built a spinning wheel so I could craft myself a crossbow, and then I went back to the cave to mine more materials. I finished off the day by upgrading my village to level 6. I spent days 22 through 25 building an upgrade storage room which actually ended up looking really bad. However, I did find a supply drop, but it just had junk in it. On day 26, I started building a wall that turned my village into a fortress, and by the evening of day 29, it was done. Actually looks pretty cool. Day 30. I somehow looted this chest without Mancake and his henchmen ever noticing. Then I went and gathered some more materials. It's kind of annoying how I've spent literally 75% of my time playing the game just borrowing materials, but it's my choice to keep playing so I guess I can't complain too much. 
After getting lost in the cave and spending forever getting out, I went exploring into the snow biome a little bit. It was definitely worth it because I ended up finding some epic rarity loot. Bro, this bug is leading me towards the snow brood. I didn't even kill the regular one yet. Snow one's like four levels above or something. This better give me some good loot. Oh wow, it's horrible. I don't know where the desert area is. I need to get to it, but I haven't seen it at all. I've just seen ice far off in the distance. Get down from there. We're chopping him. Easy. And ooh, that's actually some really good loot. I think now I can upgrade my village. Yes, let's go. Level 7. Oh, and I could upgrade my village immediately. I just need some more marble and some amber. Yeah, I need to find a desert. Um, I've explored here, and I think it's just ice mountains, so I'm gonna go over this way in the hopes that I can find something. Because, like, I need to get to the desert first before I can, um, get to the snow area, which is unfortunate. The snow area is, like, right here. And so, on day 36, after farming more materials, I began my journey to find a desert. Little did I know how long it would actually take. Ooh, it is a llama. Let's go. I got a burger? What? Definitely cannot fight them. Whoa, that's just great. Now I have to walk forever to go get my stuff. Okay, I got my stuff. Seems like the guys just despawn. After not finding a desert, I decided that I would go out and wouldn't come back till I found one. And it took me nine full days of exploring to find what I was looking for. found desert. I've been playing for like 30-ish days and only now have I found a desert, which is actually kind of crazy. I need to see what this is. It looks rainbow-ish, but I don't know what it is. What the heck? They gave me cheese, slap juice, pizza, and how much stuff did they give me? This chest over here looks like an oath-bound chest from chapter 4 season 1. It doesn't have anything good in it, though. After gathering some amber, I was about to make the journey back home, but then I made the worst mistake I could possibly have chosen. I went into a desert cave. in the world was that? I suddenly just exploded and was dead. And now I have to literally go all the way. I can't even see how far away that is. Yeah, I died. After spending literal hours of exploring, I died with all my loot in a cave that I didn't even need to go into. I knew I shouldn't have gone in it, but I didn't listen to myself and went for it anyways. All for six pepper seeds and an uncommon shield. Getting back to that cave was one of the most annoying things I've ever done because all I could do was just sit there and run forwards for hours. And if I died again, I'd have to do the same thing over. I didn't record my trip back to the desert because it would have taken up nearly 30 gigs of space on my hard drive. My hard drive was already almost full from all the footage from before. Plus, you guys already watched the travel montage, so it'd be kind of boring to watch almost the exact same thing again. Okay, here it goes. I'm trying to rescue my loot. I ha 
had to get my loot, which is right near the lava, and pick up all the important items and build my way out without being noticed. Because if even one of them noticed me, they would start chucking dynamite at me and it would be game over. I'd have to make the several hour journey back to the desert all over again. The pressure was on. so dangerous. Like, it's super dangerous. I don't know what that was. I got most of my loot. That's all that matters. Okay, I think this is a sand wolf it is. Ooh, he's got a lot of health. That don't do a ton of damage to me. There we go. Gotta get sand claw. I went and mined some amber, and then I went to farm some desert wolves for their claws. Yo, what is going on over there? I think they're... Oh, these guys throw dynamite. Like, they're all just holding dynamite around a campfire. That's a nice shot. Is that all of them? They probably weren't even guarding anything. Here's the final sand roller I need to kill. And I'll have three of their shells, which will be um, enough to upgrade my crafting table. Alright, there we go. I got three shells and a bunch of wolf claws, so I think I can head back now. Man, look at this view. It's actually really nice. This game reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Make sure to put your thoughts on LEGO Fortnite down in the comments. I'll be reading and replying to pretty much all of them. I didn't record my journey back because I did nothing except run in a straight line for literally over an hour. And there it is. Home sweet home. After what feels like an eternity, I'm back and can actually like drop off my loot and then upgrade everything. I don't know why, but this game feels really grindy, which I guess could be a good thing, but it also is like sometimes it's not very fun. Why are these guys crying? Okay, I think that's everything to upgrade my crafting bench. This single upgrade took forever. There we go. Now I can craft rare stuff. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me I need to go back to the desert. Bro. That's ridiculous. I don't want to go back to the desert. Bro, to make a gem cutter, I literally need to go back to the desert. That's kind of ridiculous. This game is so grindy. I'm literally not going to spend multiple hours just going back and forth, back and forth to the desert. Especially since I'm already almost done with the challenge. It's been something like 60 days, it feels like. Might be more, might be less, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look in editing. But I've just spent the majority of the time farming resources and like just running around. I haven't actually gotten to build anything, so I think for the rest of the time I'm just gonna 
um, try to build, like, the coolest village possible. Okay. Fine, I can upgrade my village. Okay, so for my first project, I think I'll do, like, a big watchtower here. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of wood, so... Time for our wood chopping montage. What is this cave? Okay, I thought it was just, like, really tiny, but why is there a chest just floating in the air? Okay, that was weird. I thought I was stuck for a second, and I was a little bit worried. Luckily, I'm not. Because if I got stuck, that would just been kind of dumb. Yo, there's just stuff floating now. What's the deal with that? After spending 40 minutes gathering materials, it was finally time to start building. How the heck did I manage to trap myself like this? That makes like zero sense. I'm trapping my helper inside. He's gonna be stuck in the attic. Of course it'll teleport, but it would be funny if he could just trap people like that. There we go. Roomy house complete. It only took forever. It took way too many materials. But it does look cool. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why, but none of the stuff wanted to line up, so the tower I was trying to build myself, um, I just gave up on and uh, just <laughs> made this monstrosity. I know it looks horrible. Oh man, it looks really bad. Oh well. I just built a couple more things and I'm pretty sure it'll have been 69 days. I've been playing this for way too long. Okay, so the brute's right there. One of the last things I want to do is take it out. So I just need to craft some more arrows and then craft some more bows. And then I can uh, fight it, because that, that's basically like a boss battle. And I want to fight it before it despawns. There it is. Boss battle time. Good. I've avoided it. Oh dear. Man, I have not help. I don't know if the dynamite's gonna do much to it. Bro. Okay, the dynamite hit it for 16. Like, are you serious? Bro, I just one-shot my NPC. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is it mad at? It was so confused. I think my bow will last. There we go. Let's go. Final boss taken down, and it just gives me scales. With a bow, everything is so easy. So, Alright, so this is going to be it for the 69 day survival challenge in LEGO Fortnite. It was pretty fun, but I mean, towards the end, it just got so grindy that it was quickly becoming not fun. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.